Right, so Mark Gurman's given us a report on things we should see at WWDC, and I thought I'd delve into it. So yeah, without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so I do want to say one thing, and that is yes, the information is pretty vague and might be a little disappointing, but do remember that Apple's done a pretty good job at controlling the software leaks because we've heard little to nothing about anything software related. And so yes, I'm sure Apple has a few surprises up their sleeves at the actual event. But anyways, with that disclaimer aside, let's now delve into the software features Mark Gurman delves into in this report, and that begins with obviously a new privacy feature. So this new privacy feature in iOS 15 should be a toggle in the control center that gives you a rundown of all the data being collected by a third party application. Anyways, moving on, let's now delve into the next thing Mark Gurman mentions, and that is notification profiles. So Mark Gurman has mentioned this in the past, but this lets you control your notification preferences during certain situations in the day. So for example, you could be sleeping, walking, studying, doing dodgy things, I don't know what you do with your time, but anyways, for these certain situations during the day, you can have specific notification settings. So for example, when you're at work, you obviously want to see work email notifications and probably nothing else. And so you can set that on your iPhone. And so yes, overall, this is a pretty cool feature. Oh, and also Mark Gurman mentions that we could see a revamped notification banner. Though, like I said, it's pretty vague. So we have no idea what to expect. Right, so now we come to the iPad, and this is a tad more exciting. So the first thing he says has been mentioned by him in the past, but basically we should see a major home screen revamp with iPad OS 15, where you can literally place widgets and app icons anywhere on the home screen without having to stick to a grid. This is amazing. I can't wait for this because I hate the fact that the widgets can't be placed anywhere on the home screen right now. It feels pointless that you have so much real estate and you can't customize the home screen to your liking. And so yes, this is a feature I'm definitely looking forward to with iPad OS 15. But now we come back to the vague stuff once again because Mark Gurman says we should see better multitasking with the iPad. That's literally all he says, so yeah. Multitasking's getting better, but that's it. We don't know how, but it's getting better. Now, what I'm hoping this means is that we see Windows on the iPad. I've seen some concepts and it looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, please, Timothy, give us proper multitasking on the iPad. It's about time, especially with the performance the M1 iPad Pros offer. Next on the list is iMessage, which will apparently get enhancements that make it a social media platform that could rival WhatsApp. Now you might have seen the WWDC promo images so far, and there seems to be a heavy focus on iMessage. And also the hash flag on Twitter is literally a thumbs up reaction you get on iMessage. And so yeah, there is a heavy focus on iMessage and I can see Apple releasing their own privacy focused social media platform because of course, if they can get people hooked on the app and addicted to the social media platform, they will never leave the iPhone. That would be strengthening the walls around the garden. And so yeah, I definitely see this happening and maybe this will be a major feature with iOS 15. Now the next thing Mark Gurman delves into is not so exciting news because the lock screen redesign we were hoping to see has apparently been pushed back. So you might remember that a few weeks ago Mark Gurman said a lock screen redesign was coming to iOS 15. Well, apparently elements of the redesign have been pushed back for future versions of iOS. Now do note, because the information is so vague, we have no idea what these elements are and what's being pushed back. And so yeah, we just have to wait and see, but personally I'm hoping to see the customizable toggles with iOS 15 because I rarely use the camera and torch toggle. And so if I could replace them with apps of my choice, that would be way more beneficial to me. And so yes, it's time Timothy to let us partially redesign the lock screen. Now the final tidbits in this report are about the other operating systems that we should see at WWDC. And well, once again, Mark Gurman is being very, very vague. 
So for example, he says macOS will see a minor update and that's it. Not even a feature list, just the fact it will be minor. <laughs> I don't know, okay, I don't know. But yeah, expect bug fixes, stability updates, I guess that is to be expected because Big Sur was such a big update. And then with the Apple Watch, expect better health tracking and then interface improvements. What does that mean? I am seriously confused, but yeah, expect whatever that is. But guys, when it comes to tvOS, it's getting the biggest update of all because it's getting enhanced software. Wow, that's a complete surprise. Imagine software getting better. Oh my god, that just blew my mind. I can't believe this. Okay, jokes aside, that illustrates how vague and how weird this report is because Mark Gurman usually gives us massive leaks a few days before WWDC and usually they're very, very detailed. And so because there is barely any info in this report, once again, I do think there is a very strong chance that Apple is doing a very, very good job at preventing leaks. And I do think we could see way more software features at WWDC. However, one thing you should be worried about is the lack of any hardware in this report. And that's a little odd because this report is basically a what to expect that Mark Gurman's doing. And so he should have mentioned the MacBook Pro, but he doesn't. And that's really odd. And well, things escalate from there because Max Weinbach believes we won't see any hardware too. And so that's got me doubting now whether we're going to see M1X Max at this event. Now, to be fair, John did say they're confirmed. So I guess there is a chance. But honestly, I'm not sure where to stand on this. And so let me know in the comments below. Do you think we're seeing hardware at this event? Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. For the latest Apple news and rumors, check out the video in the icon above about details regarding the 2022 iPad Pro. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.